The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheese Boy 628 here today giving you a mixed tier Wi Fi battle. Let me just tell you, the mixed tier is super fun to play because you just gotta tell me what tiers your bonds are in and how much are in each tier, and then I completely balance it out as you can see here. My apologies for the lack of uploads recently as I have been preparing for college, and as this goes up Wednesday morning, I will be leaving in one day. Being Thursday morning, there will be updates to come. Anyway, looking at my team, I have Life Orb, Trick Room, Reuniclus, Special Nido King, Dragon Dance, Lumberry, Haxorus, Physical Meloetta, Physical Defensive Chestnut, and Specially Defensive Dusclops. So looking at my opponent's team, he definitely has some threats, especially that for Alligator. If that sets up some D-dances, I could be in a heap of trouble. His Umbreon is of course really bulky as it is naturally, and so it's going to be very difficult to take down. So right before I begin with the battle, I would like to say also that since I'm going to college I don't know how the Wi-Fi is going to be in regards to Wi-Fi battles so the most optimal time to battle me is now check me out on Twitter or Skype at cheeseboy628 and just let me know what you want to play so with that said let's see how this battle goes so I'm going to start with my dust club says it's pretty darn bulky and I can pretty much get a free willow on anything as he brings in his metagross now despite me being specially defensive I should be able to eat up any hit this metagross has to offer although it could certainly lay up its rocks and that could be potentially crippling but I am just going to go for the Willow first turn. Unfortunately, I do miss. He goes for the Dragon Pulse, but I am special defensive, so I'll take this even better than anything that Metagross has to offer. So I am able to get this Willow off, and it's definitely going to be very nice because Gudra, of course, is notoriously known for being super bulky, but especially on the special side. So I'm going to go for a curse here. Actually, I wasn't really expecting him to stay in, so I wanted to get a curse on something else. But since he stayed in, I take extra damage, and there's no way I'm going to live another hit. So I'm going to go for a Shadow Sneak just to get a little bit more damage as he goes for the Sludge Wave, which will take me out from this range. Oh man, that crit, let me tell you. But seriously, I'm going to go down while also withering away this Gudra a ton. Because with the Curse and the Burn, he is in a super vengeful range, even to a Relic Song from Meloetta. Now my Meloetta is physical, and it's a really weird one. It's got Relic Song, but then has three elemental punches. So so I decided to put an Expert Belt on it, and well, Expert Belt is pretty much non-existent, so it's definitely unexpected, but yeah, I'm just going to lay down that Fire Punch. It's going to get the boost from the Expert Belt for being super effective, but it still does deadly because Metagross is naturally bulky, and that was just a weird set I wanted to try it out. Obviously, it didn't work out too well, but I do get some nice damage on that Metagross. I'm able to pretty much freely go for an Earth Power here as he brings in his Gator. Now, Gator is pretty darn bulky, but I am Life Orb, and I'm Max Special Attack, and I'm pretty sure I'm modest as well so that for alligator does not eat it up i'm going to go into chestnut though because i'm pretty much going to be able to take anything this gator has to offer unless it's an ice punch but yeah with the life orb recoil he's probably going to live one more hit and he only gets torrent boost from water moves so that ice punch will do a decent amount but not a huge ton so he dies from his own life orb recoil and i know that's going to happen so i can just get up one layer of spikes and be at about half health with the leftovers recovery so now he's going to bring his electabuzz and I really have no idea what it's going to do, but I am going to assume it's choice, and at the moment I am thinking it's Scarf, so I'm going to go for the Spiky Shield here, see what he potentially locks himself into. Turns out it's the Psychic. So as I switch out to something to take the Psychic a little bit better, he does go to Umbreon and makes an incredible prediction with this special wall of his, as I do bring in the Reuniclus. So I do think I could have eaten up the Psychic super well with Reuniclus being really bulky, but yeah, with that Umbreon in, I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much even with the Life Orb Focus Blast. It could be a 2 KO, but foul play could hurt a lot, as you'll see later. So I go into my Chestnut pretty much for free here. I can start Spike Stacking as much as possible, although he is going to go for the Toxic, and that will be potentially crippling on me, but I will be able to get up a lot of Spikes, which will be very nice for crippling this Umbreon, because every time it switches in, if I get one more Spike up, he loses 25% of his health every time, guaranteed. So yes, this Toxic will wither me away for sure, but he can't go for foul play. I mean, he can, but it's really not going to be that effective. As I go for the hammer arm here, just try to get a bunch of damage. Turns out it is a solid 2 KO for sure, but with Wish Protecting, there is no way I'm going to win this battle, especially since he got the Toxic on me. Although I'm not 100% sure what his last move is, it's probably Heal Bell at this point, but you'll see later. 
as now I can go for one final spike thinking he's probably going to protect and so he's going to go into his Rhyperior here and maybe he can go for rocks but for the most part you'd think he wouldn't bring in a Rhyperior on a chestnut. So I'm not sure what his idea is here as he brings it in but with this toxic damage I sure am taking a ton of damage so I am going to switch out so I can refresh that toxic residual damage for next time and so he actually has the hammer arm as he hits my Nido King. so it was kind of a risky play on my part since he could have went for the earthquake there or maybe even an ice punch if it had it but he just goes for a straight hammer arm which is definitely unexpected though in here my Nido King is able to Oko the Rhyperior with one earth power which I was somewhat surprised because with solid rock and just being naturally bulky even though not too much on the special side I definitely wasn't expecting that Rhyperior would go down so fast but yeah expecting me to switch out here he makes a bold play and goes for the Volt Switch as they bring out my Reuniclus so at this point I'm not really sure what his last move is but I do know that a Focus Blast at this range should be able to take him out with this foul play that he seems to have in the wings even though he has Wish and Protect he is able to go for the foul play and take out my Reuniclus which I was somewhat surprised because Reuniclus really doesn't have that much attack. I mean it's from the life orb boost, not 100% sure. But here he's going to go for the protect with his Umbreon. So I go for the low kick and it is kind of a weird set but it does have Dragon Dance. I was kind of scared he would go for the foul play so I didn't want him to go for the foul play as I go for the Dragon Dance because that would make him do a ton of damage to me. But I am able to take him out with the Outrage. I locked myself in because I just wanted to get that Umbreon out of here once and for all. And now that he brings in the Metagross, he's going to try to take this, but he is not able to. So I am going to get confused here, but I do pack the Lumberry. So now I'm able to snap out of confusion as he brings in his Electabuzz. So here you're going to see what kind of set he is as I do outspeed him with the Earthquake. Obviously I'm not Scarfed, and that means he's not Scarfed either. So he's probably Specs as he did do a ton of damage. But that really was a good game, Howard, and I hope you guys all enjoyed. Like I said, be sure to battle me if you guys feel like it on Twitter or Skype at CheeseBoy628. This is also the first battle that I have recorded and read on my new computer like I said more updates to come about all of this stuff so with that said I hope you all enjoyed stay tuned and thank you all for watching like comment sub and until later peace